Do you remember Amazon's Lord of the Rings? I'm sure you do. You probably didn't watch it. Most people didn't. As much as they want to claim people did, but we've seen the numbers. Most people tuned out really fast. This show was expensive, $715 million. And it didn't go over very well. Uh, Once the show was done, this is from April 4th, 2023, we found out that Amazon's pricey Lord of the Rings show saw only 37% of viewers complete the series. Only 37% finished that show. But we're told this is an amazing show. Uh, It's the bestest ever. It was amazing. Everybody watched it. And if you didn't like it, well, you're just you're just some kind of sexist racist. They, they did try to run that. That was massive damage control by them. They had everybody running that. It's always funny when you see all of the big media sites line up and say those things. I think it's it's kind of eye opening, though most people fall for it, to be honest. At least uh, some people over on the woke side, they believe it, no problem, and they just run with it. Even though at the same time this show was out, we also had House of the Dragon, and everybody loved that show mostly, and they race-swapped the Valerian house in that one and came up with a good reason for why they did it, and everybody was like, okay. Uh, the guy's acting in that show was phenomenal. Uh, I think he he let his art talk for him, and uh, that show is an amazing, amazing show. Uh, but they ignore that, that all the hate for that show mostly went away. I, I'm not saying there's people out there that don't like it, and there's some people for just even the changes that they made in that show are going to be too much, and I get you. Uh, but I'm just saying for the most part, people didn't have a problem with that show, but for some reason they had a problem with this show. It's just stupid bullshit that honestly is is tired at this point. But it's just funny. now. Playoffs are coming. After Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power's disastrous first season, Prime Video announces significant layoffs. They spent a lot of money on this show. A lot of the shows that they've dumped money on haven't worked out. Uh, For every Invincible and Boys that they have, they have a lot of failures. They have shows like Reacher that do good. There's some good stuff on Amazon Prime. Uh, But there's also garbage like this. And unlike all those other shows, this show was hell of expensive. So they're laying off a lot of people. And uh, I think that that's telling. Are these two things related? You know, I can't say for sure, but it is kind of funny that they're laying off all these people after dumping a lot of money into bullshit. Prime Video announced it will be eliminating several hundred roles across the Prime Video and Amazon MGM Studios organization following the expensive and disastrous first season of Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. Senior Vice President Mike Hopkins informed employees in an email obtained by Deadline, informing them we will be eliminating several hundred roles across the Prime Video and Amazon MGM Studios organization. Hopkins added today, we will begin to reach out to colleagues who were impacted by these role reductions. Notifications will be sent out shortly. And we expect all notifications in the Americas to be completed this morning and most other regions by the end of the week. He goes on to say that this is a difficult decision. And it's hard to say goodbye. Yeah, that's why you're firing them with like, right away. Sure, it was hard. Amazon churns people out like nothing. If you've ever heard about the working conditions in those warehouses that they have, uh, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, Camelot is done a lot of covering on that Camelot 331. And uh, it's pretty telling how bad it is to work there, to be honest. it's It sounds awful. If anybody works at one of those places, uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you feel, how you feel about working there. I'd love to read about that. Uh, but they don't care about them going. But, you know, this is the impact. This is the impact of making garbage and putting a lot of gar- like money into that garbage and losing money on it and not growing. Because I highly doubt this show grew Amazon Prime. And that's the point of this show. That's why they made a Lord of the Rings show. They're trying to grow Amazon Prime streaming to bigger heights. And it didn't work. It didn't work. It failed miserably. And so people are getting laid off. They're going to have to reevaluate. So 
it sucks for the people that are getting fired. I feel bad for them. Look at this. 83-38. But, you know, this is, this is Hollywood. As, uh, as what's-her-face Rachel Ziegler said. So, yeah, what a disaster. What a disaster. Season two, I can't wait to see those ratings because they only had 37%. They have to know that it's going to be really bad. I wonder if they'll try to address criticisms and fix this. It'll be really, really interesting to see how all of that plays out. So, anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.